Hello everybody! In today's session we are going to be looking at what is a character set. Now you might be asked in your exam, explain what is meant by a character set. Now if it says the word explain you should know by now that that is a command word and that is going to be a two mark answer if you're asked to explain something. So if you're asked explain what is meant by a character set, your answer is the characters that can be represented by a computer system. But what does that actually mean? Now when I say computer system, obviously we don't actually need to be using a computer or a laptop. We could be talking about just general devices like a smartphone. If you were going to be messaging someone on your smartphone, you are going to be using things like uppercase characters, lowercase characters, uh, numbers, symbols, and emoji, and so on. And all of those need to be stored inside your device. But as you know, the computer can only process binary information, machine code. So if you were to enter a letter on your keyboard, it has to be converted into binary so that it knows what it is that you've done so that it can then be displayed on the screen correctly. The computer does that using something known as the character set, characters that can be represented by your computer system. Now a really common character set is ASCII. Now ASCII is a 7-bit character set, however it does have a zero at the beginning of all ASCII characters which is going to make it into an 8-bit character set. And each character is given a code and that code is stored in binary which takes up one byte which as we know one byte is eight bits. So as we said earlier if you were to press a key on your keyboard that will send that signal to the computer telling it which key was pressed and then the computer uses that character set to translate that binary code into that particular character so at that point it would be outputted on the screen and you get exactly what it is that you've asked for. So another character set that we need to be aware of is Unicode. And Unicode uses multiple bytes. So we were looking at ASCII earlier, that only used one byte of information, whereas Unicode uses multiple bytes. And because it's got multiple bytes of information, it can store millions of possible characters, which is obviously enough to cover all major languages, which is great if you want to change your keyboard on your device to a different language. And as we mentioned earlier, ASCII is actually a subset of Unicode. So the first 128 codes of Unicode are exactly the same as ASCII. In the latest exam, there was an unusual question which asked you to write down the binary for an ASCII character. So we need to be able to write out the ASCII character alphabet and it is really straightforward to remember as long as we follow these steps. So let's do an example. Write the binary for the ASCII character J. Now notice that this is a capital J and that makes a difference to how we're going to start our byte of information. If it's a capital letter like this one is, we're going to start our byte with 010. But if it was a lowercase j, you would start with 011 instead. Now we do need to know our alphabet to do these questions, so it might be an idea, just so we don't make any mistakes, use your note pages at the back of your book, I would write out your alphabet if you were asked to do one of these in your exam, and then that way there can be no mistakes. So J is the 10th letter of the alphabet, so we're going to write the binary for 10. So we're going to use our good old conversion table. At the beginning of it, you can see we've got our 0, 1, 0. So 0 in 128, 1 in 64, and 0 in 32. But then the rest of this binary number, you just needed to make the, the number 10 in binary, where we've got an 8 and we've got a 2. So this is J in ASCII. So let's do one more example. So if we were going to convert the character, the lowercase character P, for example, we would first need to count out how many letters in the letter P is. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So it's the 16th letter in the alphabet and we said we're going to do a lowercase letter. So the lowercase P is going to look like we're going to have a zero at the beginning. It's lowercase so we want a one, one. And we need to make 16 for the letter P. So we're going to put a 1 there, which is 16, and the rest can be 0. 
and that is a lowercase p. So to finish, here's some exam questions that you can have a little practice of. So I want to know what is meant by a character set? How many bits is ASCII written in? I've got a couple of conversions, which is a capital letter Q and then a lowercase t into ASCII binary. And then finally, a bit of practice based on the last video as well. Once you've converted it into binary, I want you to then convert it into hexadecimal. So as always, pause the video at this point, give the questions a go without rewinding back or checking in your notes, and then obviously check your answers afterwards. Just repetition is key to making sure that you are confident in these areas. That's it for this session. See you later.